Hello? Darling. Gwen? I'm sorry to call so late, but I only just now got your message about being stuck at the resort. Oh. Well, it's fine. I'm, I'm still awake. I'm dying to know what you and Teresa have been doing there. Doing? Well, what we're supposed to do. Checking out the resort, planning our honeymoon. Ethan, come on, could you be a little more vague? Come on, I want specifics. I want you to describe to me how romantic the resort is and what wildly romantic things we'll be doing on our honeymoon. And Teresa loves it? What? The resort. Does she feel the same way about it as you do? Uh, yes. I mean, I, I think she does. You know, some people would think I was crazy sending my fiancé off to a honeymoon resort with a beautiful woman. But I know that I can trust you completely, Ethan. Yes. You know, Teresa is impressed with the place. She's such a good friend. So, you know, tell me about work. How are things going? Why? Well, I mean, are you finished? When are you coming home? Soon, darling. I promise. Very soon. So anyway, tell me more about the place. It's really romantic. You couldn't ask for a more beautiful place for our honeymoon. I mean, it's... It's truly spectacular. Oh, I wish I could be there with you right now. But the waiting is going to make it all the more sweet. You know, I still can't believe that Teresa took time out of her own life in Harmony to fly off to Bermuda with you. I owe her so much. You know, I remember you telling me that hearing Teresa talk about love made you realize how much you wanted to marry me. You remember that? How can I forget? I will forever be indebted to Teresa for that. I mean, how does a girl do that? Make a man fall more in love with another woman? And that is true friendship. I love you so much. I love you too, Ethan. The hell? Ethan, what is it? It sounds like someone's screaming. It's a woman. Oh my God, it sounds like Teresa. Oh my God. I'll call you right back. <laughs>